Hi, this is Dave Martins, and today I'm going to take you on a tour of Mars. The first stop is Biostation Alpha. There's 14 stops on this tour, and I guarantee you're going to see some stuff that you've already seen, but there's also stuff that's going to blow your mind. And you're going to say, what? So this is the one that started it all. Biostation Alpha got a lot of people coming to Mars. A lot of people coming to Mars, especially with Google Mars. Thanks, Google Mars. Um, the only thing I have to compare Biostation Alpha to would be Biostation Beta, question mark, because I don't really have a name for it. It's the same dimension, 100 by 700 feet and it's similar but it's in an area of rocks that you can compare it to maybe that's what Biostation Alpha is, who knows the next stop is one that I call Four Hats it does sort of look like four hats there's a lot of hats around here those four together I thought were interesting. This is the strangest part of Mars. This is where the geology gets really strange. These four hats is next to an area that I call the boneyard. And it just, it looks like bones. It's not really bones, it's geology. But the way that geology happens sometimes is very artistic. And this is very artistic. This is one of the many areas on Mars where the geology is just interesting to look at like you're looking at a picture. That looks like an eagle right there. This would be a great place to come back and explore later. If you're looking for a face or something like that, there's probably a few of those out here. The North has very interesting geology. The whole planet does, but it's the geology is unique like weather. The next stop is a place that I call Space Cows. Now I know there's no such thing as Space Cows and these are also just rocks. But I've seen elephants, I've seen cattle, and I've seen game, and these look like herding. This looks like herding to me. You can see the light coming through their legs. It's just rocks. I mean, if these were animals, they would be 300 feet long. That's how huge these things are. But it's just sort of fun to look at. It's more interesting geology. This is a great place to explore. This is near Biostation Alpha, actually. Biostation Alpha is probably just a thousand miles from here. So the little baby ones out in front. <laughs> okay. The next stop. This place reminds me of Script like you know the old script where they would take a pen and ink and they would draw out a script and it wouldn't be printing it would be very cursive and artsy this is another example where geology is very artistic in my opinion these areas some of them look like they were brushed out they're sort of pleasant to look at I mean there's designs in there that sort of make sense if you're looking for a picture everything's placed correctly apart there's like lines of things there's characters it looks like a little snowman or whatever it's very artistic this is also a great place to explore I'll give coordinates to all these places in the information section of the video 
and you can go to Mars and paste them in or you can just watch this video this is something that I just discovered uh, yesterday when I was putting this together it sort of reminded me of Jabba the Hutt's castle and I thought well you know if it was Jabba the Hutt's castle this would be a great spot for it it's really well located I guess I mean it's on top of a crater and so you're getting some sort of protection in that you're not in the crater but whatever's in the crater you know you got access to it so or Luke Skywalker could live there too see this is a nice location you're right by the hill there's the crater whatever is in the crater now the next stop Jack London wrote a book and he called it the big red one and the big red one um, was about a flying saucer that crash landed in the South Pacific and all of the natives had lived around it for thousands of years and this object sort of looks like what the book describes as the big red one I don't think that the big red one was quite this large this is like three miles long whatever this is I'm sure it's a mountain but the shadowing kind of makes it look like it skidded in there which is kind of neat it's just a uh, photographic technique or photographic occurrence I doubt that it's a photographic relic it's just a geological phenomenon but it's pretty cool now our next stop we're gonna go to something that also new to me that I also sort of came across and I can't really explain it it's um, you know pl there's places in the deserts on earth where the wind will push rocks around and leave these trails behind it and these and it looks like this I mean this would be this would be a good example of an earth rock being pushed around by the wind but if these rocks are true to scale the one on the left is closer to 4,000 feet and the one on the right that sort of looks like it has a windshield on it it's uh, probably a mile wide if that were a rock so those tracks are about a mile wide so I don't, I, there must be a photographic error and it looks like a place that's really close to it that also has a similar type of error in the photograph or anomaly in the photograph um, if I can control this thing and I call it the strange patch and that could mean like photographic patch or photographic error but it's that's also massive that's about six miles wide by 50 miles long and it's just an area that it looks like that's got trees and stuff but I'm sure that's not what it is and it's sort of ripply and looks like a tractor has gone over it but I'm sure that that's some sort of photographic error if you compare it to the one next to it it's perfectly clean but this also has lines on it I don't know if that's also a photographic error or if that's a geological phenomenon but I also see lines running through this one as well and there it is that was just bad driving, sorry about that. So I'll also leave the coordinates to this in the info file and you go back and check this out, explore it, see if you can make heads or tails of what it is. And then we're going to go on to our next one. Our next one is uh, just kind of a fun one. I call it the lion's face and the lion's face is next to the cat's face which is interesting 
the lion's face kind of reminds me of like the King Arthur lions, or you know, like the old English armor. Um, the lion's face. So there's that. But the lion's face is next to the cat's face. And the cat's face is also really interesting. Cat's face probably looks more like a cat than the lion's face looks like a lion. But they're right next to each other. There's a cat's face. And the last one is kind of like the grand finale. This one I call the monkey. Because um, it looks like a monkey. There he is. There's the monkey. And the monkey is next to something that I just discovered. And I'm going to include as a bonus in this tour because I've never really seen it before. Whoa. That looks like something out of the movie Alien. Yeah, that's a great place to explore too. I'll leave the coordinates for that. There's the monkey. And that's it. I thank you for being on today's tour. Um, that's just in the northern hemisphere. I'll also put together a tour for the equator and then someday the southern hemisphere. But thanks a lot.